Hi there and welcome to project 2 of the Arduino, the spaceship interface. So today we're going to be creating a spaceship interface with this lovely little uh, cardboard interface here that's provided with the Arduino. Uh, so the first things first, we've got to actually build the circuit. The, after that there's actually a bit of programming to do and then we should actually find out at the end if the circuit's actually correct or not. So let's get started with the circuit here. So we're going to connect, uh, let's first do our power. Uh, we're going to use the 5 volt, so we're going to connect the red wire from 5 volts down here. Not in the way there, am I, of the camera. And then we're going to connect the ground between here and... Oh, if you'll go into the socket. And let's twist that around a little bit so it's out of the way. And here, that's not out of the way enough. There we go. So that's our power all connected. So the next thing we're going to actually do is connect um, the ports. Uh, what ports are we going to do? Two, three, four, and five um, to the actual board. So uh, three, four, and five are going to go to LEDs. So we're going to start with five up here and we'll go across to row seven. There, like so. And we'll do something similar for port 4. Let's bring that round to row 8. No, sorry, row 10. Row 10. And then we will do the same for port 3. And we'll bring port 3 round from there to row 14. So we'll plug that into port 3 and bring that round to row 14, like so. So there are the ports wired up. We'll also wire up port one to row, um, to row 24. So port one, so port two, will go all the way down here to row 24, like so. Okay, so that's our ports wired up. Uh, the next thing we want to do is let's get the LEDs in place. So um, the LEDs, the cathode, the short leg needs to go towards the resistor. So the long leg needs to go to the wire outwards. So we'll do our first one up here first. Our first LED at the top. Then our second LED, long leg first. Like so. And our third LED, long leg first rows 14 and 15 like so. So that should be enough and I imagine that means that this will fit over the top of this nicely. Let's see if it does or not. It doesn't because of those cables there. So let's fold that up and push that in there like so. Green one has tilted a little bit. So it will fit, just about, and what we need to do next is actually wire up the button. So let's pull this cardboard up, and let's put our button in, and this will go between rows 22 and 24. So that will go here, like so. Then we need to attach our power across to row 22, with another little wire. And then we will need our resistors. So there are two resistors, two different resistors uh, that we're going to be using. There are a, let's have a look, 220 ohm resistor and a 10 kilo ohm resistor. So for the 10 kilo ohm resistor, we're actually going to place, place this between our ground and our uh, button here. So we'll place this around here like so. And then for the last three resistors, they're going to go between the LEDs and ground. So we just need to connect these up between the LEDs. Oh, making sure that it doesn't bend too much. And ground. Like so. If you'll get in the hole, which you won't. There we go. There's one. There is two, get that into the ground there, 
and the third and final LED and into ground like so. Okay, so now that should be our circuit completed. So this cardboard I will try and put on again, but it's not quite as easy because it doesn't quite allow space for the actual um, for the actual cables for the power cables. But that once the button is pressed should start doing something. So now what we'll do um, let's just remove that cardboard out of the way so that the so that we can see the circuit a little bit better. So that is our circuit, all completed. So the next step is actually to do some programming and get our program running. Okay, so here we are in our Arduino program itself. So first thing we want to do is create a new integer, which will be int, what we're calling it, switch state, switch state equals zero. And then we will go into the setup, which is here, and set pin mode of uh, 3 is output, uh, so we're going to have 2 is input, 3, 4 and 5 are output. So 2 is input, and then we'll copy paste that, and we'll have 3 is output, and 4 and 5 will also be output as well. So we've got those three, those four there, uh, and then we're going into the loop itself. So our switch state here I'll spell that wrong. Switch state is going to equal digital read two, digital read two, and then as I go through the book, we're going to have an if statement. And if the switch state is equal to low, and that means that the button is not pressed, then we are going to digital write 3, 4, and 5, high, low, and low. Digital write 3, low, oh no, sorry, 3 is high. And then 4 is going to be low, and 5 is also going to be low. And we also need to end each one of these with a semicolon. And then we'll have, so that's high, low, low. And then we'll have an else. And the way that I'm laying out my code is slightly different from the one in the book. And we will have digital write 3, 4, and 5, low, low, high. So we'll copy all this. And this will be low, low, and high. That looks right. 3, 4, and 5, high, low, 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 high. And then we're going to delay 250. And then digital write 4 and 5, high and low. So we're going to do, still in the else, we'll have a delay of 250. And then we will digital write 4 and 5, high and low. So we'll take these two from here, and we'll swap them around high and low, like so. And then we'll delay 250 one more time. So we'll copy and paste that. And that should be about it. So is there any further coding? No, there's no further coding. So what we're doing here is we're initiating the initial integer of switch state to be equal to zero. Then on setup, uh, our pin mode for two is an input. That's the switch. Then three, four, and five are our outputs. They're our three LEDs. Uh, obviously, point three is going to be the green LED, and four and five are going to be the two red LEDs. And then when we enter our loop, uh, our switch state is going to be equal to digital read 2. And then if the switch state is low, which is digital read 2, if, if the button is not being pressed, then we will be uh, high, low, and low for our three LEDs. So that means that uh, green is going to be lit, and the two red ones are going to be uh, unlit. 
and then else we're going to have uh, low, low and high, so that means that uh, we're going to start off with um, the green LED not lit and then the first red LED will be unlit and the second red LED will be lit and then we're going to delay for a quarter of a second and we're going to switch over the high and low for the, uh, the two red LEDs. So what I believe is going to happen here is when we press this button we will start seeing the two red LEDs flash and when we don't press this button uh, we will have the green LED just a lit. So let's get this uploaded and we'll see what happens. So let's verify that. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's just upload that and we need to just save that and it should be uploaded. So let's flick back over to the camera now and see what we've got. Okay, so here we are back with our panel. So we've got, as soon as I uploaded it, the green light just turned on immediately. So now, hopefully, if I press this button, then the two red lights will start flashing. So let's see. There we go. Quarter of a second each, and they're, two, they're just changing there with their lights. So take off, yep. If I let go of the button, then it goes back to green, and then I hold in the button, starts flashing again. So let's just, as a final little piece, see if I can put this piece of cardboard back on here, even though it's not really built for purpose, and see if I can't just get this running properly. So here we go, there's the piece of cardboard on it now, and we've got our button just peeking through that little hole. If they'll just hold in there a little bit more, and if I press the button, then we've got a hyperspace initiated. Very cool. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye now.